we're going to have to think different. We're going to have to work different. We're going to have to create new ideas, but we can only do it together. A new leader is poised to take on a new role in Minneapolis, and he says he wants to make the city the safest city in America. Dr. Cedric Alexander was introduced today as Minneapolis's first commissioner of community safety. Fox 9's Courtney Godfrey was there for his introduction. So, Courtney, some pretty big promises here from Dr. Alexander. Oh, yeah, he says he wants to make Minneapolis the model for what modern policing should look like, a task that even he knows is a big one. We have the opportunity in this city to make this the greatest city in the country. And we're going to do it from the day I start and up until the time that I leave. Big promises from Dr. Cedric Alexander, the guy tapped to be Minneapolis's first commissioner of community safety. A leader with an impressive resume, one that Mayor Fry thinks makes him worthy of a record setting city salary. You get what you pay for. We need top national talent right now to lead this new department, and that is exactly what we got. Alexander brings 40 years of public safety experience, from being chief of police and deputy mayor of Rochester, New York, to being a member of President Obama's task force on 21st century policing. He's recognized nationwide as one of the best and now aims to turn Minneapolis around. We can't keep looking back. We don't forget the history. But in order to move forward, we got to do things different. Alexander will oversee and manage multiple public safety agencies, including police, fire, and 911. And as he looks at a police force that is short nearly 200 active officers, one of the biggest challenges he'll face is recruitment. We got to look deeper into their backgrounds, their social media platforms, who they hang out with, their histories. We got to look deeper and harder. And that even makes it just that much tougher. But the only people that I want serving in this community are the very best. Now, Alexander still has to be approved by the Minneapolis City Council. Any confirmation won't come until at least August. If he is confirmed, he will be making between $290,000 and $350,000 a year, the highest paid city employee. Compare that to former Chief Arredondo, who was making less than two hundred. Reporting live in Minneapolis, Courtney Godfrey, Fox 9.